Disorders of the shoulder are the third most common musculoskeletal disorder. Abnormal scapular kinematics have been shown to be associated with shoulder pathology such as impingement syndrome, uh, adhesive capsulitis and instability. During arm elevation, the lower trapezius together with the upper trapezius and serratus anterior produce upward rotation, external rotation and posterior tipping of the scapula, all of which are integral part of normal scapular kinematics. Many studies have reported altered scapular motion and altered patterns of muscle activation of upper and lower trapezius and serratus anterior in patients with shoulder dysfunction. Usual methods of manual muscle testing are not sufficient to assess the strength of the scapular muscles because it's difficult to isolate the individual muscles during testing. Rehabilitative ultrasound imaging can be used as an objective tool to assess the relative activity of upper and lower trapezius and serratus anterior during shoulder movements. It can also be used as a biofeedback tool to facilitate improved muscle activation strategies. Scan just medial to the scapula to view the lower trapezius muscle overlying the rhomboid muscle. Now assess the degree of muscle thickening during arm elevation and at which stage of the elevation that the activation occurs. Here we see the lower trapezius at rest, clearly visualised between the white fascias. Scan the upper trapezius muscle, just medial to the suprascapular notch. Now assess the degree of upper trapezius and the vader scapular muscle activity during arm elevation and again determine at which stage of elevation the thickening occurs. The upper trapezius is seen here at rest with the levator scapular muscle underneath and the first rib under this. The serratus anterior muscle is seen best about 10 centimetres underneath the axilla. Now assess the degree of thickening during shoulder elevation, noting at which stage of the movement serratus anterior activates. Here we see the serratus anterior muscle sitting underneath the latissimus dorsi muscle and overlying the ribs and pleura. Dysfunctional scapular kinematics detected can be altered using taping to facilitate appropriate muscle activation. The scapular muscles can then be re-scanned to assess changes in activation patterns. Biofeedback rehabilitation can be used to assist the patient to develop better functional strategies. If you are interested in learning more about rehabilitative ultrasound imaging or attending one of the workshops run by Ultrasound Solutions, then visit ultrasoundsolutions.com.au.